Police crime scene tape in the school building on lockdown. This is what parents arrived to for dismissal at Parkway West High School today. It happened after a 17 year old male student was stabbed just outside of the building. Then he ran back in for help. We were there as it was unfolding. She just texted me and said, Mom, my school is. <laughs> Let me drop the link, man. God damn you, Philly. Fucking Philly. Fuck you, Philly. Damn you. A fake documentary to fix. Yeah, exactly. That was propaganda. That was propaganda. Yeah. Facts. Fact factuals, man. A fake documentary to 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 victim to, to criminal. Yeah, victim to um yeah, victimize the criminals. Give them the victimhood. That facts, man. Factoids, man. Sherry Judge Hines. Aco lights, what's up? I'm still amazed at just how evil leftism is. And I never realized for decades that narrator was just losing. Yeah, man. These people are horrible, man. This shit stays, man. Well, this is, well, that might have been fiction, but this is real, man. This was Philly, man. We owe for Philly, man. We still owe for Philly, man. It was unfolding. She just texted me and said, Mom, my school is on lockdown. Um, she's under a table. I, look, I don't know. I just want my daughter out of there, okay? Police say this started as students were having an event in the field across the street. According to school district officials, the team got into an altercation with two suspects. One of them is a current Parkway West student. The other is not. Well, next detectives say the incident moved out into Aspen Street, and that's when the 17-year-old was stabbed, and he ran back into the school for help. As a result, the principal put the building on a lockdown. The announcement came on, and at first it was like, Oh, it's just a lock and everything will be fine. But student Aiden Caesar Frischman says a second announcement that was made terrified everyone. Then the announcement came on and they, some people were panicking and it was saying it's a full scale lockdown. Yada, yada, yada. It was very scary. His mother, Michelle. Man, Aiden Frischman, is this a goddamn, a juicy, a juicy on burrito, man? <laughs> This is this is a this looks like a juicy on burrito man or maybe just an on burrito. I mean maybe just a juice man, man. I don't know. A juice team. <laughs> the announcement came on and at first it was like, oh, it's just a lock and everything will be fine. But student Aiden Caesar Frischman says a second announcement that was made terrified everyone. Then the announcement came on and they some people were panicking and it was saying it's a full scale lockdown yada 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 it was very scary his mother michelle had to wait outside like so many others feeling helpless i want my baby fortunately things weren't worse here today the amount of crime that hap that's happening in schools in america is just crazy and to have it happen at your school it's terrifying no nah, that ain't a hole on burrito look at his mother man his mother's a glider man Mother goddamn ginger, man. This ain't no fucking hole on burrito. That's a juice on that's a juice burrito, man. <laughs> Frishman. Somebody help me out with that name, Frishman, man. Aiden Frishman, man. Help me out with that name, man. That that sound that sound juicy to me, man. Yeah, man. Steve Keely. Yeah, we might gotta do Fox. It's, it's Steve Keeley's point of view, man. <laughs> yeah, he Pat, man. He does remind me of Pat, man. Take a look at your screen. New video shows the man police say shot and killed a 15-year-old on a SEPTA bus. As police search for the shooter and a person of interest, the teenager's family tells us they are heartbroken and angry. Our Marcus Espinoza with the story. This high school behind me, Roxborough High School, has been through enormous tragedy this year as yet another high school student was gunned down, this time a 15-year-old riding the bus trying to make it home. I spoke with his mother about how she's grieving and trying 
to understand how this happened. He was a, a special boy. You know, he was loved by young and old. This is 15 year old Randy Mills, small and. He was a. a Technically, we still owe for Philly, man. <laughs> Technically, man. And why she be the cute one? We don't get to see her though, man. She probably, she probably, she probably is the cute one, man. God damn it! A special boy. You know, he was loved by young and old. This is 15-year-old Randy Mills, small in stature, but mighty in personality, his mom telling Fox 29. He's one of the latest shooting victims in the city of Philadelphia and remarkably the second Roxborough High School student killed by gunfire this year. He was gunned down on a SEPTA Route 23 bus near the 5200 block of Germantown Avenue late Wednesday night. I got a call saying we believe Randy got shot. And I said, huh? And I was, of course, I was shocked. Less than 48 hours later, his mother is now planning his funeral. She had to wait until Thursday morning to find out it was, in fact, her son, and he was gone. What was the last thing he said to you? He said, I love you. I I'll be home early. And what you cooking? She's never going to be able to make her son that hot, home-cooked meal ever again. But now she has words not just for the shooter, but for this man. Philadelphia police releasing surveillance footage of the suspected shooter and also a person of interest who Randy's mom says appears to rifle through Randy's body as he lay dying looking for things. <laughs> Nick Cannon, you fucking liar. <laughs> You liar, you Nick Cannon. You fucking liar, you piece of shit. Surveillance footage of the suspected shooter and also a person of interest who Randy's mom says appears to rifle through Randy's body as he lay dying looking for things to steal. I feel like he deserves whatever comes to him because I see my son hand move as if he was trying to say, get off me or try to something. Help me. Yes, and that's when I know my son didn't die instantly on there. Make no mistake, this mother is composed but furious over losing her son and is demanding this person do the right thing now. I was saw the shooter. You might as well just turn yourself in because you will be found. Philadelphia police still asking for the public's help. If you saw or know who those people are in that video just shown, reach out to police. They're also offering a substantial reward that leads to an arrest in this case. In Roxborough, Marcus Espinosa, Fox 29 News. 14 year old guy smoked on that thing, man. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Y'all some fucking savages, 